And I just haven't been able to hold on to it, so I'm holding on to this. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm gonna work really hard. I think this is my year. I hope so. You are such an amazing talent. You are beautiful. That voice of yours. Oh my god! I found out that the main side effect of all three medications is suicidal thoughts and suicidal tendencies. Ten thousand Iraq war vets committed suicide. My name is Oli Peter Goodman. I'm a proud warrior and a prouder patriot. And then that's my problem. Yeah. You know that club was hot last night. Did you see that juice I grind up on it? Snuffs. That was the situation, girl. That was you. Oh yeah, baby girl. You don't recognize a situation when you see it? Oh, that's the people who were to be who were coming to see her were only allowed to get band-aids and aspirin from her. And they were told that they only could go to the, to the BP doctors if they wanted to get treated. The average lifespan of a person who did clean up on the uh, Exxon Valdez is 51 years old. Almost all those people who did work on Exxon Valdez are now dead. It's a bachelor shocker. Other than I'm in love with somebody else. The bachelor handed out his final rose Monday night. But it wasn't his final decision. Will Molly give him another shot? I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. I order all those assembled to immediately disperse. Around 200 people were arrested during the two-day summit. At one protest, an identified law enforcement officers were filmed showing a protester, shoving that protester into a car and driving away. If you do not disperse, you may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Deal or no deal. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Should we bring him out of the vault? And he's in a vault? Look at him in the vault. Oh, there he is. Hi, Bobby. Bobby. Hey. 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 Is he telling me that he's given up on this crazy health care bill? A bill that is probably going to put the last nail in this country's coffin? No, he's on TV because he's filling out his NCAA college basketball bracket. Are you freaking kidding me? Does this guy live in the real world? No, Barack Obama lives in a freaking fantasy land where he's the lollipop king and we're all a bunch of freaking suckers. Would you wake up? Wake up! And all you people out there saying, Bob, you're only saying this because you don't like Barack Obama. You don't like Barack Obama. You know what? Let's take Barack Obama out of the mix. Let's say you come home from school today. Your mother sits you down. She tells you your father just lost his job. Your family is hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. You're probably going to lose your house and be living on the street in a couple of days. Let's say she says the neighbors have given up trying to help you. Your family and friends have given up trying to help you. They're sick of you. Let's say she tells you your father has this big idea to get you out of debt. But everybody he's told it to thinks it's a terrible idea. And it's going to sink your family further into the abyss. Then you say to your mother, where is dad? I want to talk to him. She tells you he's in the basement filling out his freaking NCA college basketball bracket. Are you kidding me? You would think you're